I suppose my story with the pizza counter is totally. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be accessible and understand your needs and doing like the worst job ever because I don't know the difference between eyes and ears. <laughs> Today's a very special video again as we not only have a guest, this is Kate, we have a YouTuber guest who I met at one of the YouTube creator days. So you will find her channel in the cards uh, cards cards above and in a link in the description as well. Um, and that her channel is Kate's Adventures. Do you want to tell them a little bit about what you do? Yes, I am Kate and I tend to vlog about my adventures and if I'm not feeling adventurous I just sit at home and talk about whatever's on my mind. Current videos include a plant allowed on planes because I genuinely have never seen a plant on a plane. So yeah, sometimes travel videos, sometimes general nonsense. Whatever you prefer. I kind of stalk her channel. I watch every video. They're really good. So go and check out her channel. So today we're kind of having a discussion about how some people who are not disabled do experience discrimination because they're not disabled, which sounds a little confusing, but some people, instead of seeing those who are disabled as equal, they see them as better than because they have to struggle. I keep kicking the tripod. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Alicia knocked it over once. Oh dear. We were filming. Oh no. Yeah. Um, so, if you don't mind me asking, when did you first kind of come across disability or mental health? When I first came across disability, when I was about seven years old, my best friend moved to the school for the first time and she had epilepsy. Hmm. So they kind of explained to everybody in the class that if she fell to the floor and started shaking, you need to go and find a, te a teacher and she'd have like somebody like a classroom assistant going round with her. Um, they also carried around a sick bucket. I never saw her throw up, I never saw her have a fit, but you know obviously they had these things in place in case she did and stuff. So yeah, that's probably the first time I came across a disability as such. And mental health was probably in my teenage years at some point. I can't really pinpoint the exact moment that I found out what that was. <coughs> but yeah, it's, like, I mean, in high, high school it's difficult, so it's, um, it was probably like somebody not feeling too great about themselves or having like, yeah, just general high school stuff. I think it's quite interesting for me what you said about the epilepsy. I've only experienced it through Lucian, um, as he's epileptic. I've, I know that he is usually sick before he'll have a fit, but I didn't know that humans got that too. Oh. I've not seen that. I've met... <coughs> sorry. I've met a couple of people who are epileptic, but I've never seen that, so that's quite interesting for me. I've not touched on that yet. Yeah, I mean, epilepsy is kind of a recurring theme in my life, which is, sounds really weird, but um, my brother had epilepsy when he was in his teenage years. It was like an epilepsy that he kind of grew out of. But when he had his first seizure, I'd been like watching a lot of casualty and my mum was like, oh my god, what's going on? And like, he's having a seizure, recovery position. And then, then I fell back to back asleep again. <laughs> Meanwhile, my parents are just like, what's just happened? Because I was like 11 at the time or something. And then my dog is epileptic as well. So yeah, I've kind of wow. seen like tons of epilepsy. It seems to be just be something that happens, but I've never seen anybody throw up before they've had a seizure, so I guess that maybe depends from person to person, yeah. or dog to dog, whatever. <laughs> so as someone who, as far as I know, I hope I'm not presuming here, um, has not disabled themselves? No, I'm not disabled. Okay. I don't want to presume because there are hidden ones. Yeah, I know um, what you mean, yeah. Like a lot of people um, look at me and I've had a few people that are like, oh well, you're obviously not if you're not always on crutches, but um, that's one of the worst ones mm. for me. It's like, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, I know. I'm, at my old workplace, they were really bad for it. Like, you know, occasionally I'm on my crutches. Um, most of the time, I refuse to use them because they bug me and they just get in the way, and you yeah. can't carry other stuff. Um, but they would think, oh well, it, you know, it's not that bad because you know. But most of the time, I'm hyped up on painkillers. That's why I don't have my crutches. Yeah. But it's, um, as someone who isn't disabled, have you ever had that kind of discrimination because you're not like, um, for example? 
when I was on the bus once, I had no crutches or anything, I was having a good day, I was quite happy. Um, but I'd been shopping, so it was a wee bit sore, so I was sitting down at one of the disabled seats and someone says, you should be moving to let that person sit down. Mm. And they seem to think that because you're not as disabled, or seem to not be disabled, you have to give up what you've got just to help someone else. Yeah. You know, have you ever kind of come across anything mm. like that? I mean, I've definitely had people kind of look at me as if to say you shouldn't be sitting in the disabled seats, but if it's the only seat available and there's no other disabled people there, I don't see why I should have to give it up to somebody who's not coming forward and saying, can I have that seat? You know, it's, it seems a bit strange in that way sometimes. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. It's, it's a good thing, mm. you know, that you've not experienced that. Like, the less I hear about people having discrimination, the better it is. That's because true, Hopefully that means yeah. that there's less discrimination. Um, you did say you had another story that you wanted to share. And to hear that story, you're going to have to wait till next Wednesday. Me and Kate got so much good footage, I did not want to edit most of it out, so she has been kind enough to let me do this in two parts. So a huge thank you again to Kate's Adventures, a link in the description below to her channel, go check her out. And thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video next Wednesday for part two. Bye-bye.